Hello, this is Janet16 and today I'm doing an introduction video of the new series How to Improve RTR Models. Uh, for those of you who do not know, RTR is ready to run. So models you buy from Hornby, Backmander, Powell, Halger, you know, just normal models. Now these are, well this one here is actually an old Troyan, a really old Troyan wagon. Um, and these are going to be one of the first ones we look at. Um, and this one here, this one's already been more or less done. Not by me. The weathering was done by the person who previously owned this wagon. I did not do the weathering, but I did do the wagon load. So, again, this one's got a nice load on it. I'm not sure what kind of load. Probably an engine or something. Uh, well, no, it would be engine because we were talking 50s and 60s. So, I, I have to do my research again. But, couplings are already been fixed in this model. There we go. So no hook, so they cannot be hooked with wagons that no longer have a hook. Um, they have to have a wagon with a hook. And this one needs couplings and that, but yeah. So what I'm gonna do is show you how to improve your wagons. Um, and if we pan around here, this is the wagons that are on the list. And also that big pile of steel wagons that are 20 tons. And the coal train, of course. The coal train's got to be filled with coal wall. Some of the wagons are going to be weathered, not all of them. Um, they'll be one of the first ones we look at. I'm planning to do the coal wall in the next couple of weeks. But all these wagons here have been picked out. These are ones I've wanted to do for a while. Um, especially these low mats. Um, I haven't run them for a long Well, the bottom ones, the only one out of all these that's ever been on the layout with trains. And the other three have not. So they got to be detailed up. Uh, they're probably going to have a wagon load. These loads are on them. They will stay on them. They will just be weathered slightly. Not too much. But this one is going to have a special load on. Not too sure yet on what. Uh, these two coal wagons are for the down coal train. Which the down coal train is empty. So these would be in a rake of you know, like 20... 30 coal wagons um, including this one on top of here um, there's one or two more running layout somewhere but yeah they've all got to be weathered up couplings got to be customised most of these wagons got a clipping coupling from Hornby which I tried to explain it to someone at a club the other day and they didn't know what I was talking about so I've got to do a video on that as well the couplings to be in there but these couplings and you can get the smaller clipping ones and what I do is literally trim them back and they fit in really well. Um, have I got a wagon here to show you that? It'd be good if I did. I have a tree in the window. Okay, so, oops, kicking cultures here. Yeah. So there you go, there's the clipping coupling. Now this one has been trimmed back to buffer line. Now if you trim them back to buffer line and push them in um, and glue them, of course, because they would not stay in there if you don't glue them, you get very good coupling and if I I'll put him down um, I can show you this now actually just a bit quick but these um, couplings have always been stiff on these models not because of glue them I don't know why but I don't know if you can see that now it's not the best lighting so I'm sorry for that but it's pretty close together so that's that's what i will be doing with most of the rolling stock as for the back of my wagons different coupling so got different techniques for that but pretty simple they don't take that long um there'll be more details in the series of me doing the actual videos it's all going to be done in the shed and what will happen is i'll set a tripod up a uh, tripod up it'll be all set up properly and I'll be doing a step by step of how to do it. Um, first step will be taking a couple of off and putting them back on. Um, I'm, I'm not sure how I'm doing the weathering yet, but there's one technique I've seen with using um, powders. Um, so I'll show you more on that when that comes. As for this wagon, this is an old Hornby one again. A couple of things actually look bolted on, kind of. 
So they got to be cut off. We always got to be changed. But I want to keep this wagon. I nearly sold it because I was trying to sell all my old trans stuff. And not all of it, but I sold quite a lot of it. At least 50% of it. Because I just did not need it. So I kept this one because I wanted. I saw a picture of one of these not so long ago. And it is a real wagon. So that, that's got to be detailed up and everything. Uh, the small coal wagons here. Yeah, these all got to be detailed and weathered uh, the two brake bands they will be joined together i'm not too sure why i was joining them together but it'd be on my computer so i might go leave notes in that so yeah that is the plan all these wagons here are going to be detailed up including this one that one and that one um and it should be pretty good there's a few other wagons on the layout that need doing but not urgently these are top of the list because these are all wagons that need to go into rates and of course I need to get the um, down core train sorted as soon as so when I do get a layout to a running standard I can have the lengthy coal train go in north and I know the down train would be going north sorry and the up train would be going south with no wait that why is it <laughs> I don't know this is still early, but yeah, basically the coal train, the loaded coal train will be going north and the down coal train will be going south, which will be the empties. That's it, I got it right. And there's a few wagons like these special ones, Winchcombe. Um, I got a few Nortrick ones, that pole wagons. Now the couplings on them are massive, but I don't really want to mess with them because they're my local area and not Winchcombe, but the Nortrick ones. And I don't really want to mess with them. There's the Sinford and Nortrick and that. So I want to keep them as they are. So there's a few wagons like that. The ones I'm really going to struggle with. Uh, I'm going on a bit here, but I need to show you because you all see this in the series. Is these. I don't know how to close a couple of these yet. So that's something I'm looking at. Because I'm going to have a nice rake of these. Probably 15, probably more. And the same goes for the new Hornby offers they brought out last year. Um, I need a nice rake of them, 20 of them. And again, that's something I've got to start work on. And the first thing to start work on that is buying them, of course. Um, same with these. I've got quite a few of these put by, actually, for a really good price. So, yeah, that's the plan. Let me know what you think of the series. Are you interested? Is it something you're interested in um we'll be both learning at the same time because i've never done weathering before i have but crap weathering just for buildings and then old wagons nothing special not for running stock anyway coaches won't be weathered i must make that clear um i do not want to weather my coaches or or locos to that matter um i'm weathering certain wagons because i've had them for a while and i have loads more down here as well, drawers, drawers of them, there's all my coaches, so yeah, go, 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 go and get the post, but thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video, let me know what you think of the series, and hopefully the first video will be up in the next couple of days, thanks for watching, bye.